So good morning guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna drop off this little video today before I zoom off for an appointment and I'm gonna pick up my five cans today. Better be amping up them five cans, people. Oh yeah, and your water supply and anything, meds and anything else that you need to be getting because we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of this, which is the overall thought that should be just constantly booming in your brain right now. But first of all, I wanna say, I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day and got to spend it with your loved ones. To me, Valentine's Day is a day not just for the love of your life, you know, sort of thing. I love being able to take the day just to make sure that I've done a little something special for my kids, my Nana, my mom and daddy, Miss Lou, close friends love them every day, pray for them every day, but Valentine's, I think, is just, I think it's a lovely little holiday. Don't make it gloom and doom. I know, doomsday mama here telling you to be lovey-dovey. Yes, you need to be lovey-dovey. You need to be loving on your people, spending time with your people, making sure that you are being uh, very, uh, staying on top of being prepared for your people. That's love, folks, that's love. So I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And by the way, if you have not made that Dutch baby yet, you need to do so. I kinda changed it up this morning. I diced up some apples, some apples that had been sitting on my counter a little bit longer than I wanted them to. So I peeled them and I diced them and I put them in that same skillet with butter and brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon and ooh la la and let it sit. And then I made the Dutch baby and I put it on there and baked it at the 400, uh, 400 degrees for 20 minutes, same way. Just added the apples. Oh my word, we're gonna go for blueberries next. But anyway, <laughs> so try that, try that. Um, that video is right before this one. So here's the deal, guys. <clears throat> I know a lot of, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know who all is talking what. Um, it's been very busy the past couple of days. And let's be honest here, the whole situation in Ohio has pretty much not come to the light for most of us until the last two or three days, right? Right? I mean, so we're like, what, what, what? So in, in a lot of ways, we're all trying to catch up. In a lot of ways, we're trying to understand. You know, this whole deal has been going on. And did you really know much about it? Not until it's too late. Not until it's too late. First of all, let's pray for all the folks that are directly affected uh, by this, that are living literally in the area in Ohio. But we also know that, here's the thing, this goes on a long ways, right? And we don't know how far it's gonna go per se. Uh, we are looking at different maps and predictions of things that it could affect all the way down to all the way where little old me is, right? That's right. So there's lots of, um, I'm sure, YouTubers talking about it right now because it's the big story. So I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of this happened here and this is here and this blew up here. That's everywhere. This is what I want to highlight, which should be the thing that should stick out to you more than anything. Where's your leadership? Where has your leadership been? Folks, you're on your own. Folks, I'm on my own. Folks, those people up there in a lot of ways are on their own. And the thing is, is it's gonna get very entangled with lots of issues, including attorneys. Um, you know, I was listening to some things yesterday that, straight from the ground from folks that live there that have been affected, the things that they are seeing, they had to, you know, evacuate and come, they've come back or not, all the things that are going on, uh, the testing that's going to have to be going on, uh, the, you know, uh, I was listening to one gal talking about all the fees, you know, in order to basically do independent studies and tests and things. The, where's your leadership? Why, why aren't we taking care of our people? What if this happened 10 miles down the road from you? What if this happened in your town? Don't think that, I mean, look, look, look at everything that's been going on. Don't think that it's not something of some capacity can't happen to you and yours in your town. Or like us down here in Southeast Tennessee, we're sitting here going, okay, well then um, how uh, are we going to be seeing some fallout down here? I mean, what's going on? How long will it take for us to be able to verify? Three to six months? I mean, w w whether it's the water, w whether it's fallout, what, I don't, I mean, think about this. 
like, who's really, really telling you and what are they telling you and do you believe it and how do you know, right? It's that moment of, wow, where's leadership right now? Licking a vanilla ice cream cone somewhere? I don't know. But, you know, I haven't seen a lot this morning. Of course, we've been busy, so maybe things changed. Maybe we've had a revelation hit and, uh, you know, every leader in the country has decided to uh, finally decided to assist the people. If that's happened and I've missed it, I apologize to you in advance, but I kind of don't think that's happened. But even if so, let's pretend that happens right now. <laughs> Where in the heck have you been? You know, I mentioned on a video um, a couple weeks ago talking about Russell Means and a lot of the things that he said before he passed and the things that he wrote about. And it's the, the whole idea and notion and theory and statement of we're all on the reservation now. I don't mean that in a disrespectful light towards, uh, you know, anyone. Uh, but the point, the bottom line is, is we're sitting back and we are literally watching leadership fail every single day. Every single day. So this is why I remind myself, this is why I remind my family, this is why we try so hard on a daily basis and I try so hard to tell my family, friends, people around me, you, my friends here, I say, you have got to stay busy every single day. You just do not know what scenario is going to literally slap you in the face today. I will say again, every single day you're being T-boned and every single day you're being lied to. And at this point in the game, especially for a lot of people in Ohio, well, the question becomes, could it be life or death? How scary is it to talk like that? How scary is it for you to hear me say that? How scary is it for you if you are actually absorbing at all what's going on? That is a possibility. We know that they are finding all kinds of unfortunate situations in terms of fish, people's outdoor pets. You've seen the poor fox. You've seen chickens. You've seen all this thing. You've seen people talk about how it's made them feel. What type of effect is that going to have on that community and the outlying community and even all the way down to here or over there, up there? How is that going to affect everything? Your water supply, your food supply, your supply chain. Who, what's going on? This is why we try our best to stay prepared. Now, the folks that are in Ohio that have had to evacuate have had to try to get their animals out. I, that I, I can't even imagine that nightmare. Please pray for these people. Um, if you are living to the point somewhere where you can help these people do anything, it, it's going to take the people. Uh, here we are again. It takes the people to pull through for the people. At some point, we the people are going to have to pull a little bit harder and focus on getting people in the right positions to help us pray on that okay because like I said I will continue to say it you are on your own we are on our own and it is so crazy to see when we have disasters like this you know you have all these people that rail where's all the environmentalists at? did I miss that if I've missed it I apologize in advance I haven't seen much about that um, maybe it's happening and like I said we only get fed so much uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, or there may be somebody somewhere bold enough to say something. I don't know, but where, uh, where's Al Gore today? Um, Greta, honey, can you, you think you can jump over the pond over here and help us out? Where's all these people? You know, when we talk about such a large demographic, uh, uh such a large area, uh, I'd say there's a pretty widespread spread demographic of people. So why aren't people helping their people? Where, where, have I missed the boat? Did my train derail? I don't know. So this is what I'm saying. There is all kinds of information coming out. There's all kinds of videos coming out. There's all kinds of interviews coming out. Now that we are way past a week later, we're finding out things after the damage is done. Um, after things are in the sky, after it's rain, it, it, did it rain? I don't know. 
Uh, do you have fallout? What's it? My point is absorb what's going on. Try not to get too furious about it. But understand that it's just like anything else. What aren't you being told? And how dare anybody tell these people to go back? I, 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 that has blown my mind. I'm, I'm not a rocket scientist. Um, you know, I live with one. Uh, so he can talk about it all day long. Literally, James. Uh, so there's that. But I, to tell people that they are safe... I don't know how people, y'all, I'm going to say this, cover your baby's ear, but they, I'm telling you right now, there is a special corner in hell for people like that. So let's pray for them. I don't know how to assist. Um, you know, I don't know if there's a, a, there's things going on. I think everybody's trying to figure themselves out, figure things out still, but I want you to watch what's happening. And you remember that when this happens 10 miles down the road from your house or in your backyard or in your little town, or wherever you are, uh, you're probably going to be very unimpressed with the assistance that you're going to get on the widespread level. And the fact still remains, you are on your own. Do not let up. Do not listen to clownery. You be doing all the things that you already know are on the bucket list. Water. Whatever you can do about that. Obviously, food, shelter, um, asking a lot of questions and communicating with those close to you and around you. Guys, we got a lot of videos coming up. Like I said, I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. Please be praying. Please stay in, you know, your close connection to God. We are living in times that are truly unprecedented. You know, to me, this is a national crisis. I, I, you know, it really, truly is. I don't see how anybody cannot feel that way at this point. Unfortunately, this should have been talked about long before a week ago. And here we are. It's pretty unbelievable. But believe it. Take care of business. Like, subscribe, and share. A lot of videos coming your way. Hope you're doing okay out there. Love you so much. We'll see you on the next video.